Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about voltage multiplier circuits. These are the points covered in this tutorial. Let us start with, what is voltage multiplier circuit? A voltage multiplier is an electronic circuit that is used to maintain a relatively low transformer peak voltage while stepping up the output voltage to 2, 3, 4, or more times the peak rectified voltage. It converts an AC electrical power from a lower voltage to a higher DC voltage. The voltage multipliers can be used for the purposes such as high energy physics experiment, lightning safety testing etc. Let us start with voltage doubler circuit. A voltage doubler is an electronic circuit which charges capacitors from an input voltage and switches these charges in such a way that, in ideal case, we get exactly twice the voltage at the output as compared to its input. Figure 18.1 shows the half-wave voltage doubler circuit. During the positive half cycle, diode D1 conducts and D2 is cut off. The capacitor is charged up to peak rectified voltage of Vm. Diode D1 acts as short circuit, and the polarity is shown in this figure. During the negative half cycle of the transformer secondary voltage, D1 is cut off and D2 conducts, charging the capacitor C2. Therefore, applying KVL in the loop, we get voltage across capacitor C2 is equal to twice Vm. On the next positive half cycle, diode D2 is non-conducting and capacitor C2 will discharge through the load. If no load is connected across the capacitor C2, both the capacitors stay charged, that is, C1 to Vm, and C2 to twice Vm. Now, if there is a load connected across C2, then, during the positive half cycle, the capacitor discharges, and the voltage drops. The capacitor again recharged up to twice Vm during the negative half cycle. The peak inverse voltage across each diode is twice Vm. Now, let us discuss the working of a full wave voltage doubler circuit. During the positive half cycle of the transformer secondary voltage, diode D1 conducts, charging the capacitor C1 to peak voltage Vm, while D2 is non conducting at this time. Now, during the negative half cycle, diode D2 conducts charging C2 to a peak voltage Vm, and D1 is non-conducting. If there is no load the circuit, then voltage across capacitor C1 and C2 is twice Vm. If load current is drawn from the circuit, voltage across capacitor C1 and C2 is same as that of a capacitor fed by a full wave rectifier circuit. Since the capacitor C1 and C2 are in series, so, the effective capacitance is less than either C1 and C2 alone. The peak inverse voltage across each diode is, twice Vm. Now, we will see the voltage tripler, and, quadrupler circuit. It is an extension of the half-wave voltage doubler, which develops three, and four times the output voltage, in comparison to that of the peak input voltage. It is obvious that, a diode, and a capacitor, may be connected so that, the output voltage becomes 5, 6, 7 times, and so on. During the positive half cycle, diode D1 acts as a short circuit, and charges capacitor C1, to voltage Vm. During the negative cycle of the transformer secondary voltage, C2 charges to peak voltage, equal to twice Vm, which is developed by the transformer secondary and voltage across capacitor C1. Again during the positive half cycle, diode D3 conducts, and the voltage across the capacitor C2 charges capacitor C3 to twice Vm, peak voltage. On the negative half cycle, diode D2 and D4 conducts with capacitor C3, charging capacitor C4 to twice Vm. In this way, we get a voltage of 3 Vm across capacitor C1 and C3, and 4 Vm across capacitor C2 and C4. The transformer rating is only Vm maximum, and each diode is in the circuit must be rated at 2 Vm peak inverse voltage. If the load is small, and the capacitors have little leakage, 
extremely high DC voltage can be developed by using many repetitive sections to step up the DC voltage. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it beneficial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would also like to have comments if further modification is required.